Tripping over cables in VR is just about certain, and in all cases, you're still tethered closely to a gaming PC or laptop. Well, the MSI VR1 aims to solve some of the issues with VR currently, and as you can tell, it's worn like a backpack, which helps with those pesky cables snaking everywhere on the ground. But is it the ideal solution? The first thing that really stands out is the aggressive design. You have those hard lines, red accents. It really follows and takes cues from MSI's line of desktop PCs. When it comes to weight, it comes in at 7.5 pounds. And I know what you're thinking, that's pretty hefty for a gaming laptop. But since it's strapped to your back, you don't feel the weight that much. And because it has this stressless back design, it really helps to minimize fatigue. Now this cage frame really helps to dissipate heat because it presents a barrier between the unit itself and our back. So there's a little bit of a cushioning there. All the ports are situated on the top side of the unit. That includes the USB ports, HDMI, you have headphone jack, mini display port, and a USB type C one. And on the other side of that, you have the two hot swappable removable batteries, which in our experience got us at least an hour's worth of usage. So the unit that we have here is the one that was released back in the fall. They've since released an updated version, but this one here features a sixth generation Intel Core i7 processor. You have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 GPU, 60 gigabytes of RAM, and a 512 gigabyte SSD. Now before you even get the MSI VR1, just make sure you have an extra monitor, mouse, and keyboard laying around because you're gonna need them to get it set up. It's essentially a laptop, but without a display or keyboard. So you need those components to initially set it up because you have to go through the Windows 10 process and of course install all the necessary software. I did try getting the Oculus Rift set up with the MSI VR1, but as I proceeded to do it, I found that it wasn't really practical just because of how you need the sensors to be directly plugged into the USB ports on the MSI VR1. So in that regard, you're still tethered very closely. Knowing that, it means that the MSI VR1 was designed with the HTC Vive in mind. And that becomes more evident because it does feature the same dedicated power port on the unit itself, which you'll need to connect to the HTC Vive. Trust me when I say this, it doesn't disappoint with its performance. It's top notch, very responsive, and it even maintains that type of performance on battery power, which is impressive to say the least. And the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 doesn't seem to work up a sweat at all running any VR experiences. I gotta say, even on battery power, the VR1 maintains a solid performance, very smooth and responsive, and that's pretty impressive given how other laptops, whenever I go on battery power, the performance does suffer tremendously. And adding on to that, the ventilation system is also pretty good because even though the fans are blowing, the air, the hot air generated by the unit is being dissipated on the sides. And because there is that barrier between the unit itself and our back, thanks to the cage frame, it really helps to minimize heat. Seeing that everything is isolated to the VR backpack here, there's no more worry about stepping over cables or tripping up because now you have far more articulation and movement because of this implementation. On top of that, the cables that you have coming from the HT Vive can actually be coiled into the caged frame so they're not really in the way anymore. The performance is top notch. There's a little bit more immersion thanks to fewer cables we have to worry about. But the single biggest annoyance that I have with the MSI VR1 is getting into the VR experience from a cold boot because that still requires you to connect the mouse, keyboard, and monitor to the MSI VR1 just to get through Windows 10, launch Steam VR, and finally get into your VR game. So like I mentioned earlier, the unit that we're testing out here is a slightly older model. The latest version features a 7th generation Intel Core i7 and the NVIDIA GTX 1070, and that costs roughly around $2,200. What's arguably the best thing achieved by the MSI VR1 is that we get better articulation in the VR world because of its cable management system. Essentially, that means movements no longer need to be second guessed because there are no more cables to trip over and everything is just isolated to the backpack itself. 
Now how it's set up currently, it's going to be reserved to be used with the HTC Vive because the Vive sensors don't need to be directly plugged into the unit itself. Whereas with the Oculus Rift, in order to have that set up, you have to have the sensors wired directly to the unit. Don't get me wrong, the MSI VR1 is very cool and unique and it's for a specific type of audience. But for me, I still find that gaming laptops do offer more versatility just because they're compatible to work with pretty much all the VR headsets out there. So what do you guys think about this VR backpack? Is it gimmicky, is it novel, or is it practical? And is it worth the money? So if you guys want to learn more about the MSI One VR, you could check out our website, VR Source, your source for all kinds of reality.